What up, Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you a Carlos Backer player review. This was requested by one of my subscribers. Let me know what kind of reviews you want to see next. I've got virtually unlimited budget, well, up to about 1.5 million. So uh, any player that or cheaper is fine. But anyway, Backer, 85 pace, 81 dribbling, 81 shooting, 5 foot 11, medium low attack and defensive work rates, two star weak foot and three star skill moves. Now, he looks like a card that is just so-so, but um, we'll see by his in-game stats if he's got any hidden decent stats, and then of course in the highlights I'll tell you what I thought of him. His mental and physical attributes are quite good to be fair across the board, 87 attack and positioning, 85 acceleration, 85 sprint speed and 82 reactions are the highest ones there. Skill attributes, 88 finishing, 82 dribbling and 81 ball control topping those. And specialities he has none, but he's got the outside foot shot trait, so uh, how does he play in game? Like I said earlier in the video, he's a so so player. There'll be games where he's utterly incredible, and then there'll be games where he's really, really quiet. And uh, that's probably not what you would want. I haven't even put this as a con, but I would say consistency would be his main con. He's brilliant one game, and then quiet, as I say. So uh, we'll go through his pros first. His positioning seems really, really good. He does seem to be usually the, the furthest forward and available for a pass. His finishing, especially if he's through on goal, like that was my favourite goal that uh, you've just seen in the highlights, is absolutely terrific. Volleys seem on point as well. Uh, his pace is decent. I've put it as a pro because he does feel about 85 pace so you know what that 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 is a pro uh also his first touch is very very good it initiates attacks e with ease uh stamina seems pretty good by the end of the game um even though it looks i think it's relatively low in his in-game stats but he seems to have a lot of stamina left at the end of each game and he's extremely clinical in the box so you give him a chance nine times out of ten he'll uh, at least work the goalkeeper most of the time it'll go in cons I would say probably his strength seems, um, he does seem very weak, which is a bit disappointing. Aerial presence is uh, also a little bit of an issue, especially if he's the solo striker. Uh, passing as well, especially if you want quick interlinking 1-1s, he's not the guy for you. And his dribbling, even though it's 81, I don't know, it just feels a little clunky now and again. So uh, yeah, going through the pros, as you can see, uh, I've already went through them. The cons, on the other hand, as you can see, I've said strength, headers, passing, dribbling. Consistency goes on there because, again, one game is great, one game is not. So overall, I'll give him a 6.5 out of 10. He, he's relatively good, but again, he's just not consistent enough for me. And uh, value for money, 7 out of 10. So uh, he's not a bad player. He's, he's probably worth a, a try. See if he fits your playstyle. Maybe he'll fit yours a lot more than he did for me. But uh, anyway, that's the backup player review. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.